Hey everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal. I am a part-time online reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and I love to do unboxings. And today we are doing an unboxing of a Thread Up Men's Mixed Items, 25 pounds, and this video is a collab with my friend, Retro by Destiny. We have a little bit of business to discuss beforehand. I just recently reached 1,000 subscribers. Thank you to Kristen D at Another Chance Resale. She gave me a really sweet shout out on her channel during one of her jewelry sales and I am just forever grateful because it pushed me over that edge. I'm now at 1,015 subscribers, I think. I am still working on getting monetized. I do still need my watch hours, but with the increase of subscribers and more people watching my videos, I think that I'll be able to get there pretty soon. Thank you so much for subscribing and and watching my videos. I hope that my videos are fun, interesting, and I hope you get some value out of them. And I do really appreciate you being here. Next order of business, it's not really business, but this is a collab video. It's been a really long time since I've done a collaboration with another reseller, but in the past six to eight months, I think I've been able to really get to know Destiny over at Retro by Destiny on YouTube and on Instagram. And she sells on all of the platforms too. She is a newer YouTuber, but I've really enjoyed seeing her growth and seeing what she has to offer. She is a really sweet person with three small children, so she is very busy, but she's a very similar reseller to me. She loves unboxings and she loves wholesale companies. So very similar style. And I'm pretty sure she's the type of reseller that'll sell anything that can make money like me. So she is also unboxing a 25 pound men's mixed item box from Thread Up. These are actually her favorite boxes. My favorite boxes are the bulk boxes where it's women's and men's thrown in, but I have had good luck with the men's boxes as well. In fact, my last video of men's items was back in September and they included a jacket from the Berkman brothers that was worn in one of the Twilight videos by Bella Swan. That jacket sold for $250 in under 10 minutes. I didn't even have a chance to cross list it. It sold on Poshmark. It was fantastic. So I'm hoping that my box is as good. I'm sure it's not, but you never know what's in here. It is literally a complete mystery. So after watching this unboxing, make sure to head over to Destiny's channel at Retro by Destiny. I will link her YouTube channel down below as well. And let us know which one you think is the better box. She said she's already sold one item because she's way ahead of schedule than I am, but we shall see. As a disclaimer, these items will not be listed by the time that this video is up. I have a lot more things ahead of it. But if there's anything that you want specifically, comment below, or you can reach me on Tailored and Teal on Instagram. Let me know what piece you'd like and I can quickly photograph it and put it up on Poshmark or wherever we wanna purchase it and go from there. Okay, I'm really excited. <laughs> so I'm gonna insert a little video showing you a sneak peek because I can't show you here. It's too heavy, but here's the box. This box came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And as you can see, it is bursting at its seams. Like the box barely closed. This is coming away over here, but here is a sneak peek. Since this box is too heavy, I'm not able to lift it to show you, but here it is. That looks like a blanket. Hmm. Okay, let's dig in. All right, so you saw the little sneak peek. So as you know, we always get this lovely tissue paper, which I always reuse. In fact, it's one of my favorite tissue paper to reuse. I just take off the sticker and just use the rest as um, filler in my packages. So right off the top, what I thought was a blanket, I think might be a jacket actually. Ooh, it's new with tags. So this is the original deluxe supply apparel collection, but it's a 5X. That's awesome. Um, it doesn't tell me what the retail price is, but it is like a gray plaid fleece. This doesn't feel like quality fleece, so I'm sure that it's not like a great high reselling brand, 
but there are pockets and it is a button front and this is super cozy. Next up we have what looks like a sweater. This is from J. Crew, size small. This is a brown and navy blue long sleeve sweater. Doesn't feel like it's of any like good quality material, but um, it's cotton and 5% cashmere, so not too bad. Oh, I'm getting a lot of sweaters and jackets, I guess. That's all right. I list everything and anything, any time of the year because you never know when it's gonna sell. Banana Republic, this is the factory outlet because of the three dots there. This is a size extra large. And what is that feeling? Oh, it's these patches up here. I was like, what is that? It's wool patches, I can tell. I don't like the feeling of wool. So this is like a really dark green. Ew, what is that? Yeah, that'll need to be washed. So you can't see it, but it is actually like a really dark hunter green. Little zip up jacket with some pockets in front. And then like I said, it has these wool patches up here. Man, I wish that you could see the color. Oh, there we go. Maybe that's a little bit better. Yeah, and this is, let's see when this is from. Uh, fall of 2016 and it is cotton, polyester, wool, acrylic, and other fibers. This will have to be washed or whatever I need to do to get that schmutz off of it. Next up is an Under Armour shirt. This is a loose, it says loose fit and it is a small gray Under Armour with the logo there, long sleeves. And it is this like moisture wicking knit material. Next, we have a pair of shorts that is from the UFC gym. Oh, I love this color. A pair of like boxing shorts or gym shorts, board shorts. I don't know, but they seem to be in good condition. Um, it says UFC gym by Vandal Kimonos. Kimonos? Kimonos, yeah, I was right size medium and 100% polyester. Another pair of shorts. These are by the brand Barbell, size medium and size medium. This is a very small medium for men's. Maybe it's kids or maybe it's women's. I don't know, but it is this like nylon-y swishy material. Let's see, there is lining underneath. I'm gonna turn them inside out so we can see. They are lined. No, they're not. They are not lined. That is very confusing. Oh, it's just the pockets. Okay. So I don't know if these are men's or women's, but this seems pretty small for men's, but it is stretchy, so maybe it is. And they have these zipper pockets on the side. This is a new tags champion, big and tall. Um, let's see. Oh, another 5XL. I am not mad about that at all. So it just says champion uh, authentic athletic wear. And it is just a little spell out t-shirt. Short sleeves. Black. Plain on the back. We have what feels like a really cheap like souvenir shirt. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, there is no brand. It just gives like fabric details and stuff, but it is a New York, what does that say? Times Square USA with a random car. Okay. And it says, oh, it just says Central Park to Broadway. This, I don't, this, I don't like this. <laughs> it's very plasticky. Actually, it feels like raincoat material. Hmm. I don't know about this. I feel like you shouldn't put this in the dryer. Definitely will burn it or melt it. Pair of jogger sweatpants. These are Adidas or Adidas, if you pronounce it that way. I've heard both. These are a size small, um, like a light grayish white Heather material. They are a jogger because they have this 
elastic at the bottom. I do see some spots down here on the leg, some like dirt marks, but not too bad. And a nice pair of comfortable sweatpants. Windbreaker material. Oh, another champion. Um, champion da, 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 nylon polyester size extra large. This kind of looks like a vintage. Oh, there's a hole right in front. So this does look vintage, at least the tag. It is um, just a navy blue windbreaker. It's a little logo there, but. Sometimes it's really hard to show things. There's like a little burn hole here. I will disclose it. Oh, it comes with a kangaroo pocket up front too. Hopefully there are no other holes, but I will disclose it and we'll see how it does. It's very loud. Ooh. New with, oh my gosh, this feels so nice. Leaf Nelson, upgrade your style. Um, this is the, I don't know. There's just a bunch of numbers, but it's a size three XL. Whoa. Some fleece plaid lining. This is what the tag looks like. There's dust flying everywhere. <laughs> okay. This is so cute. Wow. So it's got this cable knit up here in this pretty colors of like a yellowish brown and blue. It has large buttons up here and it is just a pullover. It doesn't zip or button down the front or anything. It is hooded. Nice. I have no idea what this brand is and it just feels like acrylic. In fact, let's look. I apologize if you can see all the dust flying because I can. So it's 7% wool and 93% acrylic or polyacrylic. Okay, I like this. Next up is another Adidas shirt. There's that size small. This is a bright yellow. Ooh, it's got some stains on it. I just realized that my phone is causing a shadow for my ring light. So hopefully you can see everything okay. Just a long sleeve shirt with the stripes down here. Uh, this is pretty dirty, so I'll have to give it a good wash. Um, and a pair of shorts, elastic waist. I like this pattern on it. It's very like celestial. Celestial. I always thought it was celestial, but when I tried to spell it like that one day, it was not. So it's celestial. Anyway, <laughs> like a space pattern. This is, oh, it's Speedo. Nice. This is a size. Of course, my neighbor just started mowing their yard literally right next door. So I apologize if it is too loud. Uh, this Speedo is a size medium and it does have the mesh lining inside. This is cool. I like these. This is another Adidas. Oh my gosh, this is the Adidas box, size medium. I like this blue color though. Has the stripes on the shoulders up here. And what does this little logo say? Um, I have no idea. I don't know what that means, but it feels nice. It's like a silky, satiny feeling material. Next, we have a sweatshirt that says, I'm Siberian. Okay. Here is another logo over here. It says, stay wild. Ooh, I actually really like that logo. That's really cool. Um, I can't tell if this material is cheap feeling or really nice feeling. Just have a little asterisk up here on the hood and a little pocket down there. Let me see if there's a brand. Oh, it is the brand I'm Siberian. So size, oh my gosh, it's in Russian. I think that's what that would be. 
Okay, so I don't know how to read that. <laughs> I'll have to do a little bit of research on this piece, but I love this color. We have a Nike dry fit, size large. It has this logo on it. Don't know what that is. This is like the jersey box too, Adidas jersey box. I like the arrow detail here, that's cool. It is a beautiful color. All right, another jersey. Hmm. Uh, Nike dry fit, size large. Oh my God. I know nothing about sports. I know nothing about soccer or whatever this is. I will have to look up all of these logos. This one has like a striped detail here. So this one says that it's authentic 2016. Now my neighbor is yelling at somebody. Um, this one says authentic 2014. So this is interesting. I have a lot of research ahead of me. Oh my gosh, this is really cool. <gasps> with Pepsi on it. Oh my gosh, I love this. Is this vintage? That would be so awesome. Oh, nice. Hey, we're gonna find out. Oh no, the tag is ripped out. <gasps> I don't know. Oh, no, it is a modern tag. So it's a size medium. I'll have to look up that RN number 86947. Okay, but either way, this is still really cool and it is very retro looking, so I can put that in the title. Um, another Under Armour loose fit shirt, size small. I think that this is the same type of shirt as the long sleeve gray one that we saw earlier. So I will maybe lot these up. I don't pick up under Armour at the thrift stores because it's usually too expensive for me to sell. And honestly, I haven't really had good luck selling them anyway. But with a box like this where my cost of goods may be lower than thrift store prices, I am willing to list it and try it out. By the way, I totally forgot to tell you how much I paid for this box. Okay, so it was 25 pounds, it was $110. I did have $3.84 in credit from some things that I sold. And then there was $8.80 in taxes, giving me a total of $114.96. So, so sorry, I forgot to mention that. In the beginning, I usually always mention it. But here we are in the middle. Um, oh, this is Champion Reverse Weave, which I know is good size small and this is like a spell out crazy spell out hoodie has these panels on the side this is really nice and it feels very thick this is really cool my pile is getting very large over here a pair of pants my first pair of pants this is by the brand diamond supply company size 34 they're like an army green pair of pants i wouldn't call them jeans they do have button fly there like a straight leg this huge american flag patch on the back at least a play on the american flag and it says made in los angeles i want to see what material this is because it feels nice oh it's just cotton this is probably a really nice brand because it's got all of like the little logos here. More research. <laughs> oh, another new tags item. This is Sonoma Life and Style, size extra large. I might actually see if my fiance wants this because we love Cole stuff. Um, it is sold at Kohl's. There is the Kohl's tag there. It doesn't say what it retailed for, but this is a very, very soft blue pullover. And it has like 
this super, super soft material inside here. Oh, look at that, super soft double knit crew. Washed for softness, unique two-sided fabric, live in feel. So this might be staying at my house. <laughs> Next, we have another sweater. This is looks vintage to me. Jeffrey Bean, size two extra large, 100% acrylic, say brown sweater vest. Nothing too crazy. It's very shiny though. Has a really cool like window pane grid knit pattern up front. Another sweater, I think. Oh, another sweater vest. This is Joseph Abound. Size 2X, but this is extra fine merino wool in color black. We have a very colorful shirt by Goodfellow and Co. I believe this is a Target brand. Size large, slim fit. This would have been a nice shirt for spring, which I feel like we didn't even have spring. So I live in upstate New York and I feel like we went from snow and 35 degrees to 90 degrees in a matter of a week. So we really didn't have spring at all, but this would have been really cute if we had it for spring, maybe next year. I got a pair of shoes. Oh no. Okay. It's just a little bit of fuzziness from it. Um, another sweater vest. This is by the brand Dockers. Again, size 2XL. I might lot all three of these up if they're all the same size. I can't remember. But this one has a really cool argyle print to it. And this is just acrylic material. Okay, we have another pair of shorts. These appear to be Wrangler. Wrangler, size 40. This is like a nylon spandex material. These feel like a very nice outdoorsy type of pant. Has pockets on the side. Okay, this is the last pair of clothing item. All the rest are shoes. This is a pair of Old Navy jeans. This is the athletic fit, size 42 by 32. So this is a really good size. Hopefully there's no wear to them. I always have to check in between here. That looks pretty darn good. So awesome. I really enjoy the larger sizes. They do tend to sell a little bit quicker and a little bit better because they're harder to find in stores. So even though it's Old Navy, I have no problem selling this because it's a great size and they're in really nice condition. Okay, so let's get these shoes that were attached to that sweater. These are by the brand Quicksilver. Just a pair of like Velcro-y slip-on sandals. Ew, what is that? Ew, it looks like a wart. <laughs> like a wart band-aid or whatever those are. Yeah, it's definitely what it is. That's gross. These are a size, um, I have no idea what size these are because they're completely blank inside and there's nothing on the bottom. So my fiance has been needing a pair of slippers like this. I'll see if he wants them. If not, I will try my best to measure and sell them if I can. Ooh, these feel really nice. Like almost new too. And they are stuffed. Not that this means anything, but this is Stacy Adams. Memory foam, a little pair of Oxfords. Here's the other pair. Oh my gosh, these are so shiny. And these are a size, uh, men's size seven, seven M, and it is leather upper, leather lining, balance man-made, made in China. These are really pretty. And then the last pair of shoes are ginormous, bright, <laughs> and pretty dirty. 
So these are Ever Run, oh, by Saucony or Saucony, however you say that, I am not sure. Woohoo! I have a lot of cleaning to do on these. Um, other, th they're a little stiff back here. These are a size 11 and a half, so they're okay. And they're guide 10, it says. Hmm, hopefully I can clean these up and sell them for a nice profit. All right, so now I'm going to pause the video and count how many items they gave me. All right, so they gave me 31 items, which makes my cost of goods probably around three to three and a half dollars. I was kind of doing the math in my head and I'll put up exactly how much it'll be per item as long as I keep all of the items and you know don't give them to my fiance or if they're just not in good condition, they will be donated. But I have a lot of research to do. Most of it will sell pretty quickly, especially a lot of those champion items and the larger sized items no clue about those jerseys that's where i have to do most of my research but overall i think it was a good box i cannot wait to see what destiny got in her box because they both came from the same location in mechanicsburg pennsylvania so i'm interested to see if she got stuff that is similar thank you so much for tuning into this video if you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up before you leave i would greatly appreciate it shows me that you like these types of videos. And if you're not a subscriber and you like unboxings and what sold videos, go ahead and click that button. We would love to have you here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.